Good evening ladies and gentlemen. I am back with another episode. There is a message that I want to share with you guys and this message it reads like this. Hello my brother, how are you? Can you please post my own story as anonymous? I am staying here in Narare. When I came here, I was only 18 years old. This was after my dad had passed away. I then thought of helping my mom and after I had spoken with my friend she then invited me to the city i spoke with my mom then my mom agreed because this was going to be another means of income for her because i have little brothers that i needed to help her so that they can continue going to school the way that my father passed away it is a very long story we do not even understand if he was poisoned or what happened to him all that we know is that one day he came back home and he was complaining that he was having a very terrible stomach ache. He had gone to this other meeting that was happening in the village. It was a political meeting and there was food there. So we do not understand if his enemies then used that chance and they ended up poisoning him. He was never taken to the mortuary since we were like in the villages. My father was buried the next day and people in the village yet to help us since we are very poor so no one ever knew what exactly killed my father he just had a very severe stomach ache and he then passed away the next day he was buried because people were scared that if he can go for the whole day without being buried then his body was going to go bad since it was very hot so then it was suggested that the, by the village people that we should bury him on the same day then my friend spoke with me who was staying in the city after she heard about my father's passing away she then invited me to the city i came to the city and i found out that my friend was working for this other woman who has a boutique in the cbd then my friend told me that she was going to speak with her boss lady and after speaking with her boss lady maybe a boss lady was going to hire me as well i waited brother nashi this was for two months for my friend's boss to speak with me or to get any response at all in the meantime i was just going around doing some peace jobs whereby i would wash other people's laundry and i was not getting paid a lot of money sometimes i would only get two dollars after washing a big laundry for other people one night my friend came late from work she then told me that she was doing some stock counting and her boss was waiting for me outside in her car so i then went outside and i met my friend's boss she was driving a very beautiful car we spoke and i saw that it was not only her it was her and her other wealthy friend but when i looked at her other friend i felt so uneasy about her because she is that type of a woman who bleaches her skin and it was not her skin that made me to feel uneasy but it was the clothes that she was wearing she wore clothes that were full of glitters and you could see that she actually worshipped the marine spirit and she had so much makeup that it made her to look like she was a doll not a nice doll but a demonic one that woman then told me that she was now my new boss and everything that she was doing she was always laughing and i was supposed to resume work like the next day and she wanted to go with me to her place like immediately and i was supposed to do this in a rush so i then went back into my friend's room and i was taken to her place and i was never given the chance to collect my clothes and as for my friend after i had started working she promised me that she was going to give me my clothes and she kept on saying that she was forgetting to bring my clothes when she would be coming to work she did this until i had totally forgotten about my old clothes that i had left in her room and since like my new madam was taking care of me i never cared again about my old clothes clothes after a month working for her i then woke up and i found out that there was a lizard that was resting between my legs i was now staying with my boss when i saw this 
lizard that was resting between my legs so i screamed and i thought that maybe this lizard it had fallen from the ceiling because in my boss's house there were a lot of lizards like she was breeding lizards this was like a house in the suburbs but there were a lot of lizards like everywhere when i screamed one of her daughter came rushing to my room and at that time a mom had traveled to Gweru because she was a side chick to a very wealthy man who has some diamond mines as well as gold mills so this boyfriend of hers would come and pick her up so when my madam's daughter came she then looked at the lizard and she said ah do not be afraid of it because here as you can see there are a lot of them and she told me that since she also started going on her period she would also wake up and she would find that there will be a lizard that will be resting on her stomach or on the area where where her private part was but this only happened to her on the first day of her seeing her period i was shocked at everything that she was telling me and when i started to ask her about a lot of questions me and this girl we were like almost the same age and at that time brother nashi she was still a virgin she had never been taken to bed by any man and she didn't have a boyfriend and as we were speaking i then learned that her mom what she used to do is that she would regularly come and check her if she was still a virgin i felt so I felt so sorry for her but little did I know that I was going to end up like her each and every time that my lady boss will be out of town I will see an old ugly short man with a very big manhood bigger than that ugly short man that man will come and visit me in my dreams then it will start sleeping with me by the time that I would wake up I'll see discharge that would come out of me like milky but it was very thick it then happened that when I was on my period this was after work i then removed my sanitary pad and i went to bath so it was dark and i was scared to get out of the house i then took a very small plastic and i wrapped that sanitary pad inside that small plastic bag and then i just placed it there in a small dustbin that was inside the room that i was sleeping in because i was really feeling scared and lazy to go outside then when the next morning came i looked for that sanitary pad and it was missing from that small bin that i had placed it in and it was quite strange and one of my skirt it was missing as well so i then spoke with my friend and i told her everything that had been going on to my surprise she was also experiencing the same thing she told me that when she started working for her boss that was the same thing that she started to experience and after she had told her boss about it then the boss told her that she was going to be getting a lot of money this girl brother nashi when i was working with her she was earning 500 US dollars a month for someone that is working in a boutique that is a lot of money she said that after her boss started giving her a lot of money she saw that there was no need for her like to leave this job because she was able to survive with that money she was able to take care of her mom whom she had left back in the village from where we came from when i looked at her this scared me a lot because i then saw that she was actually sacrificing herself for the salary that she was being given i then said i do not want to work anymore for your friend's boss because this i then told her that i didn't want to work anymore for her boss's friend because she was really weird as well as her boss i thought that they were both ritualist why would something like that happen to her and why was she accepting the money she then said that look i took you from the village and you were struggling a lot maybe i should have left you there she then just kept quiet i said fine if you do not want to talk to me please at the end of the day i want you to give me my clothes she remained quiet after work i followed her when she got into those cars the ones that we use as taxis i followed her and then we arrived at her room when she got into the room i was right next to her and i said please give me my old clothes because i want to return back home she then said that as for my old clothes they were no longer with her but they were with my madam this thing it scared me when i returned back home 
at the place where I was staying at my boss's house. I confronted her and I told her that I wanted my clothes. She then said that my clothes had been stolen. I said how? She said that when she had gone to collect them from my friend's room, she then forgot to give me so they were just staying in the car. Then it happened that one night she went to church and this was an all-night prayer and while she was at that all-night prayer, there was someone who had stolen from her car but Brother Nashi, I had never seen her car with any damage at all. She gave me the excuse that soon after church she went straight to her panel beater then she got her car fixed but I never saw that her car was fixed. I got so angry, Brother Nashi and she saw that I had gotten angry. The next day she then accused me of stealing 300 US and in no time I saw that there was a police car. These people that came to arrest me they were in an unmarked vehicle. It was a white Ford Ranger that came to pick me up without any number plates. Then they told me that they were from the CID department. They took me and they arrested me. I ended up staying in prison for a month. I was never taken to court. I was beaten up by those men. I was then released and I was told that my case was pending. I should never attempt to leave the country. That woman even texted me and told me that if you try to go and get a passport, you are going to be arrested because your fingerprints are there since your case is pending. So I have been living in fear. This woman, I never stole her money. The only scene was that I asked her where my old clothes was. She used me. I know that she used me. And when I confronted her, she then used her lawyers on me because I just asked for my old clothes why she had taken them since we are not even related. Why is she keeping them from me? Right now I am still working but I am working as a maid. But regularly what has been happening to me is that I then met another guy and when I met this guy knowing the way that I am suffering brother Nashi, I then fell pregnant for the guy for the first time and after I had fallen pregnant for him then I found out that at the end of the month, I went on my period. But when I went on my period, I saw that there was blood. And this blood, it was like dark in color. And it was almost black in color. And when this blood came out, it was folded as if it was sort of like a ball. This has happened to me four times now. And I am even scared to inform my boyfriend. Because my boyfriend he is really educated and he has a good paying job. So he is my only hope since I am really poor. So I am forcing myself to fall pregnant for him by all means so that he can marry me. He promised me that if I am going to fall pregnant for him, he is going to marry me. But mentally, I have reached a breaking point and I feel exhausted. And with each and every day, I just pray that God, if you take my life, it might be even better. When the evening arrives, I pray that if it can just stay like evening for a little longer, it is far much better because I am afraid of facing the challenges that always that always await me the next day. Yo, dear listeners, right there was a message that I received from Anonymous. Then we had to give you this translation. Strange things do happen in this world i am worried about the friend the one that is still working for that woman the one who is earning a lot of money then at the end of the day she has her panties that are always missing and she doesn't care about it because her boss is giving her a lot of money the things that we do because of poverty